All right, and I talked a little bit earlier about this megaphone that we are using, and you can see we are starting to get some images in right now. This is from Luis Roman over in Odessa, Texas. It says, it is here by Odessa, Texas, and you can see that partial eclipse that is happening. We definitely want to get all of your photos, your videos here. So to send them to us, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is hold your phone up to that QR code that's right there at the top right hand side of your screen, and you can easily submit those photos and videos. Just let us know your name and where you are located. Again, we're going to be showing these all throughout our coverage here over the next several hours. I do want to pop up some of the other images that we do have coming in via NASA right now. This is actually over on the Pacific coast of Mexico. You can see that partial eclipse is officially underway and it's just going to be a matter of minutes, let's say, a few minutes until we do see uh, the moon pass over the sun and you'll get that full total solar eclipse. It is going to be taking place, of course, in Mexico. Then it's going to move up that path of totality and we will see it in places like Texas, eventually over into New York, and then it will move over toward Canada. The time now 129 on the East Coast and 1029 on the West Coast. My name is Josh Breslow and I'm here for the next several hours to bring you all of your top stories and live events. You can see this is yet another shot coming in out of Dallas. And speaking of Dallas, we want to check in with our Fox 4 Dallas team for their live coverage. We will continue to keep a shot of the uh, sun. That uh, shot in particular from UT Arlington will have it up on your screen through totality. And it really has been so fun. In fact, I'd like to hear from Blake and Dan, the excitement level. You can really feel it from people as we get closer and closer and as we're showing shots like what we just saw, yeah. that it has begun. So Peyton Yeager has had the opportunity to talk to so many people from near and far. She's finished her kettle corn. So let's check in with Peyton in Ennis. Hey. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm here with Richard, all the way from Manchester. What brought you here to North Texas and specifically Ennis? The solar eclipse, of course. <laughs> So you have family in Houston. That's Talk to me about your travels. Yes, we flew into Houston on Wednesday, visited the uh, uncle and aunt there. We've then popped up to Austin to visit our cousin, and then we're now in Ennis for the eclipse. Texas tour, that's what you're doing. Um, so he went to the 2017 to total solar eclipse, yep. correct? Where were you? We were in the middle of Nebraska for that one. And now you're here for this one. Okay, let's look up a little bit at the partial. You know, we're already starting. Okay, yeah, we can see it. A little bit of blocked. Is this how this is how it started last time, correct? That's it, definitely. Less clouds though this time as well, so we can see more of it. Okay. How have you enjoyed Ennis? Had anything stuck out to you? Just how clean and friendly everyone is. The town's so beautiful and pretty with all the flowers. Everyone's so friendly, happy to help. It's just a great vibe. Are you around more people this time, or were you in a field last time, or how was it different? That's it. Last time we just pulled up uh, at a truck stop. It was uh, out on the grass out the front. So this time we parked up in town. We can walk around, go to the cafes and whatnot. Um, and you're spending the whole day here? Definitely. That's it. And he's going to New Orleans after this, right? To just have fun? Yeah. Well, we were over here. We thought we may as well travel to somewhere else. So, yeah, New Orleans it is tomorrow for a couple of days there. My last question is how fortunate for you to witness two sol total solar eclipses. I think that's it. And once you've seen one, you want to see another one. So the plans are for the next one as well, 2026. Where are you going to, where? Well, it's going over Iceland, Spain, so we don't know where yet. That is so fantastic. Thank you so much, Richard, for joining us on Fox 4. You have been fantastic. Back to you guys.